Six investigates is digging into why thousands of Indiana teachers are leaving their classrooms. While other states actively track the reasons why their teachers leave their jobs, critics say Indiana has some serious work to do. Call Six investigates Kara Kinney has been digging into teacher turnover and joins us now with why this impacts your child in the classroom. Kara? Well, Erica, te keeping teachers at their school can be a huge benefit to your child. The teachers get to know their students and they become entrenched in the community. It's also cheaper for schools to keep keep teachers rather than recruiting and training new ones. But numbers we obtained show more than 12,000 educators left their schools in Indiana over a single school year. Taji Gibson was a teacher for 19 years. Her enthusiasm so contagious it won her awards. I loved the kids. But Taji left the classroom in May 2016. I left because um, the leadership opportunities in teaching are lacking. Taji is not alone. Records obtained by Call 6 Investigate show more than 12,000 educators left their schools in 2015. That's roughly 18% of teachers and administrators statewide. I love teaching. I wish I didn't have to leave. In Indiana, the average teacher makes $45,000 a year. Taji was earning in the mid 50s when she left. No one really sat down and said, why, why are you deciding to leave? There was no survey. Keeping teachers in their school is good for children because those teachers get to know students and the community. Fortville Elementary Principal Heather Neskis says it's easier to achieve goals when the staff remains consistent year to year. And sometimes you have those kiddos that have some problems and then you can go back to the teacher that had him the year before and say, hey, what worked for you? When a teacher does leave their classroom, Neskis digs into why they're leaving. What could we improve for a teacher that's replacing you? Call 6 Investigates surveyed the 10 largest school districts in central Indiana, and only one, Perry Township, appeared to track specific reasons why teachers are leaving their classrooms, such as health or family reasons. Contrast that to North Carolina, which documents a reason for every single teacher who leaves. Why can't we do something like this in Indiana? Well, I suppose it could be proposed in the General Assembly, which is where that would need to happen. Indiana's Superintendent of Public Instruction, Glenda Ritz, put together a blue ribbon commission to look at things like teacher turnover. They list the top reasons why teachers leave, the perception of teaching, compensation, and job demands and stress. But Indiana's survey only uses responses from 37 educators on the commission. Some might say, how can you really fix the problem unless you really know why teachers are leaving? Well, we're focused on being proactive. A recent study ranked Indiana among the worst in the country for teacher recruitment and retention. What's your response to that? Well, we already know we have an issue with teacher retention, um, and so we are just moving forward. We are actively working to make sure that we are uh, recruiting and retaining our teachers. The state is working with districts like Indianapolis Public Schools, the worst district in the state in terms of educator turnover. IPS's retention rate is 57 percent, well below the state average of 82 percent. Teaching in an urban setting is a more challenging um, atmosphere. I think our teachers are under a lot of pressure um, around student performance. IPS has boosted pay and leadership opportunities to help retain teachers. They're also improving exit interviews to better learn why teachers leave. I think it's hard to solve a problem if you don't know the reason. As for Taji Gibson, she says schools need to do a better job at investigating why teachers leave. I plan to go back to the classroom, hopefully, someday. Glenda Ritz plans to take two issues to the legislature to help combat teacher turnover, including pay and teacher evaluations tied to ISTEP. Now, if you want to look up the retention rate at your school, you can go to this story on the RTV6 app. You will see that typically suburban districts have better numbers than urban and rural districts. Jason. Kara, thanks so much.